Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an ohm meter, because an ohm meter can come in very handy for musicians in a lot of different situations. For instance, this is a horn out of an EV eliminator cabinet, and um, it's got a bad diaphragm, but how do I detect that that's the case? Here's the horn, so you'll recognize it before I go any further. The horn, diaphragm, magnet, come Okay, here's a fluke ohm meter, um, and I got it set to ohms, right there. And this is an auto ranging. I got it in a pretty low setting, and right here is your readout. Right now, that's open or infinity ohms. Gives you the little horseshoe right there. Make sure you're in gear. Touch the uh, leads together. Goes to almost zero ohms. So I look at this diaphragm with the horn removed, and here's your two leads. All it is is a coil and a magnet, just like a speaker. So here's your two leads. Doesn't really matter about the polarity. You just want to see if there's continuity. Touch like that. The meter stays open. Oh well. There it is closed. You have contact. Complete the circuit of the meter, but you're not doing it here. And you move it around, make sure you got a good metal connection. That tells me that you have a open diaphragm. So you're ready, you just order one or whatever you do to replace it. 